primer, DAC preamp, how many gears do you need to achieve the sound quality that you are looking for? And what if I tell you that you can just have one device that is doing everything? It sounds good, worth the money? Well, today we are going to review the Cambridge Audio Age NQ. A small jump and let's do it. We already reviewed the Cambridge Audio Power Amplifier, the HW, review available in descriptions. I decide to split the two review, otherwise it will be too long. As you know, my reference system is composed by the beautiful Sons Faber Serafino traditions. Then we have the power amplifier, the Macintosh MC312, and I was using as preamp in the beginning the receiver for my home theater, the Yamaha CX 5200. I know, not laughing, but I was looking for a preamp. So if you are asking yourself if a receiver could act as preamp in a good way, well, probably that's the review for you because we'll answer also to these questions. Anyway, I didn't want to spend too much money. I wanted a good preamp, of course, analog and not digital. I want a streamer, to be able to just stream from my smartphone with any applications must be also good applications any type of music from any type of source like my NAS or Kobuts or Tidal or Spotify whatever you want and of course a good digital to analog converter the question is how many devices could handle all these things in one gear well, not so much. I was not able to find maybe two, three devices at good price. Something, of course, around 5K, I didn't want to spend more. And the Cambridge Audio Age NQ was on the top of my list. If you are following my channels, you know that the first time I get familiar with the Cambridge Audio was with the Azure series. Integrated amplifier 851A and the streamer 851N. Was magic. I love it. And I still really said that I had to sell it to make my money for buy other stuff. But really, I was really satisfied from the sound quality of the integrated amplifier and of the streamer that got a really nice upsampling. Beautiful. But the 851 streamer was a digital preamp. The Cambridge Audio HNQ is an analog preamp, so a different animal. In any case, let's say that I'm really familiar with the voice of Cambridge Audio, the sound signatures. I have also here on my back the CX81, review coming soon. Presented in 2018 to celebrate the 50 years of Cambridge Audio, the HC represented the reference flagships and one of the best products developed by Cambridge Audio. We wanted to maintain as short as possible the signal path, replacing conventional capacitors with a couplet topology and also by adding a solid state volume control to have a clean, balanced and color-free sound. I love the design, it's elegant, minimalist. We got the same rounded housing like the HW with beautiful rounded edges. The base is perforated to hollow the unit to cool and unlike most of hi-fi gears doesn't stand on feet but on large strips of elastic rubber where I found the surface grip to be really stable. Cooling that is also present in the top cover thanks to an intelligent designs that also combine an electrical shielding. Edge series giving attention to every single details. On the front panel you can just find the power buttons, headphone output and a color screen display. The volume dials is dual input, that means that you can switch between inputs and with a second wheel on the same axis you can control also the volume. And it's also coming with this remote control that is just one of the heaviest remote controls that I have here at home and I have many, believe me. I think it's aluminum, something like that. It just looks really beautiful and whoa. And something that I forget to say, just take a look of the Cambridge Audio W power amplifier. The unboxing is something unique. These gears are coming in a huge double box with an internal special protections. I never saw something like that in my life. That's really a top quality, another leak. So about the remote control is really easy you can select the input and control the motorized volumes the only thing that i notice is that i would like to have more sensibility regarding the increasing and decreasing steps 
so sometimes if I want to be more precise I just use my smartphone. On the back we can find the pre-out sections, USB audio input, HDMI, ARC, audio return channels, so you can connect it to your TV if you would like, these are interesting features. Internal circuits and constructions are ultra clean, we can find a big toroidal transformer, power supply board and the digital sections with the streaming modules Black Merlin. And of course we got also all digital inputs and the Bluetooth technology aptX HD. I will let the link in description so you can take a look for more details. How I stream music through the H and Q? Of course with Ethernet, but the Bluetooth is working really good if you don't have the possibility to use it. The Cambridge Audio Edge is coming with two applications. One is the Stream Magic app, really beautiful done where you can select all the sources and manage your library and music applications. From settings you can also check the firmware's update and enable or disable the preamp mode. Just be careful, if you disable the preamp mode, you will need to connect it to a integrated amplifier or a second external preamp, don't connect it to the power amplifier without the preamp mode, otherwise the application is beautiful and well made and there was a huge improvement with the last update. I remember when I was using the app with the 851, I got many crashes, sometimes was really slow, but they definitely and finally improved it. The second app is an application that is called Age and here you can find some extra interesting features like auto power down, display brightness, volume limit and the possibility to enable or disable the input and output. I have to say that since I got in the analog audio, turntables and records, I play a lot of it, but I still love just to relax on the couch, take my tablet and just stream some music without have to stand up to change the records. So I really love both, sometimes just chilling on the couch and sometimes just to have the feeling to choose your records and play it on your turntable, that is something also magic and unique. So adding the Cambridge Audio Edge and Q to my reference iFi systems was wow, a night and day difference. The Serafino just took life in an unbelievable way. They told me, just got a good preamp and you will see. And I say, ah, a preamp, well, what should a preamp do? I mean, the power amplifier is the one that really matter, right? But it's not like that. A good preamp, believe me will make a night and day difference. Bass is now present, you can feel it, it's punchy, it's there in your room, warm and powerful when it's needed, especially in classic music. Then we have a mid-range that is full of body, smooth, always balanced with voices and instruments that are clean, clear and detailed. I don't know if it was the right combinations with the voice of Sonos Faber, but man, I just got it, right? I mean, sometimes it's just about to have components that they have the correct synergy when they play together. And to have a speaker that is so refined with a lot of textures and have, in this case, a preamp that is probably slightly warm was just working, at least for my ears, in a superb way. It's never congested, never fatigued, beautiful air around and coming out from instrument and voices timber are reproduced in a perfect way. Just take a look of the HW sound quality to know more about it. I also tested the headphones output and first test I did it with the Sennheiser 800S, one of my favorite headphones review available in description. 
The sound stage was not so huge if compared with the HDV 820, but the sounds was very natural and absolutely not fatigue. Correct timber, beautiful instrument separations and imaging. Enough power to drive 300 ohm? Well, probably not so much, with a dynamic that was good, but nothing special. Was lacking a little bit of impact, especially on orchestra and classic music. Is a high impedance headphones and requires, unfortunately, a better amplifier. Moving on the Focal Utopia, my second reference headphones, things become slightly better, I got all the dynamic that I was need, sound was clean, beautiful separations, wide soundstage, instruments were perfectly located and I got a good sub bass extensions. And as always to push hard my test, I wanted to try a very low impedance headphones like Dan Clark Ions, a headphone set I really love, also review available in descriptions. But unfortunately I didn't got enough current to drive it. I had to push the Cambridge audio at max volumes, encountering some clipping problem. So it's a good headphones amplifier as soon you have a standard impedance, so don't go too high with 300 or very low under uh, 30 home for example. And absolutely no planar magnetic headphones, it just doesn't have the enough power to drive it. So in the end it's look great, you can combine it with any power amplifiers and you see that I just use it with my Macintosh MC312 and it will bring life to any high-end hi-fi setup. How many streaming preamp deck you can find on the market that they can handle to achieve this sound quality signature just with one gear and I forget in this price range, so around 5 grand. Well, probably not so many. One interesting could be the Altair G 2.1, that with a retail price also around 5 grand, could probably compete with the Cambridge Audio, but unfortunately I never tested and I hope to get one in the future. Regarding the questions why one device, why I didn't get or didn't want something separate, right? Well, probably because I have my studio here full of the device and I don't have space anymore. I wanted something that it could give me the sound quality that I was looking for with just one gear. And yes, definitely I find it. From Ed Audio is everything. I hope you enjoyed the review. Let me know if you have or you know something like that in this price range. Just let it in the comments because it could be some interesting comparisons for the futures. As always, a like button, subscribe to the channel to support my work and see you soon.